hello everybody welcome back to my channel tina's nails adventure today we are doing a nice dark blue and black set we're gonna need um, blue star fixed blue star from um modern ones and coco black as well from modern ones i'm gonna use that the not zero 12 the this is the gold gel paint it's a solid color in a post it's really good goldish um and then 9D cut eye gel from Born Pretty. We're gonna do a little bit of uh, uh, hand nail art, some um, you know effects with the nine with the cut eye. And at the end, obviously, I I always like to have little sparkle on my set, so I'll put a couple crystals. Um, I didn't show you from the beginning because I have decided on the way <laughs> while I was doing this. So I'm starting with uh, applying the first coat of the blue. As you can see, it's quite dark, so uh, you can definitely I would recommend two colors, uh, two layers uh, of this because you know you need to have that depth for the blue so these are the first coat done and then we're gonna do the other two black now I was thinking should I pose this set because uh, it's quite dark and I have to be honest my husband didn't like it he likes bright colors so um, but anyway I decided to do it anyway I recorded so I've decided to um, post it uh, because I'm sure that there will be somebody out there who would like it and I am kind of um, uh, thinking that uh, right now these uh, dark colors are matching my moods <laughs> because of the weather here in uh, UK the weather as you know it's quite <laughs> rainy and gray and dark <laughs> so yeah it's matching those feelings once sometimes so uh, but anyway we can also um it doesn't matter how dark are the colors you can always uh, twist it with a little uh, sparkle or a nice um, um, effect so yeah so now here we have two coats of the blue and two coats of the, the black um, so I'm gonna put on the black on top of the black the 9D cut eye which is gonna give us a really nice effect of what we're gonna do after uh, so this is uh, as I mentioned in the beginning born pretty and uh, you just do a thin layer of on top of the black um, and you will need a magnet to do the effect so yeah you make a nice even equally layer on top of the black and then you need like I said a magnet you can buy this magnet from eBay from Amazon anyway they have it in <clears throat> If you buy a full set of uh, gel polish, uh, cut eye gel polish, I believe so they are giving you also a magnet. But if you want to buy just the magnet, you can easily do that from eBay or Amazon. Or Amazon. Now, I didn't like the, the, the effect, how it was going around, how it was coming along. And that's why I did it over. As long as you don't cure that, you can always change it and fuss around and... Um, to, to reach your whatever you desire uh, so you know it's really nice to experiment what exactly it wanted to look like so for me that's why I like this 90 cut eyes I like the cut eyes gel polish overall now here the nails I cut off a lot of footage from here because I put uh, my top coat I had something else in mind however then at the end I change it but um, because we're gonna draw some leaves on the blue two of the blue nails so that's why um, I like to draw when I like draw I like to draw on matte top coat so, um, so it's easier for me you can draw when it's you can buff the nail if you don't have a matte top coat and draw as well but i prefer the matte top coat because the surface is more smooth you don't have um sometimes you have little dust particles when you buff the nail so 
but on matte coat, top coat you don't have this problem and then we're gonna draw some leaves a nice goldish leaves uh, it's just an easy very simple nothing complicated leaves um, you do draw a few lines and then you draw a smaller uh, a few other lines around the line <laughs> I don't know how to explain it um, so yeah that's what I'm doing actually right now you can see it better better to see it than I listen to me how to explain it apologize English is not my first language so correct me if I'm wrong anyway um, so yeah and then I will start drawing the veins of the leaf which are a small small lines inside uh, it's just a small detail touch that shows that it's just making the leaf look looks better so yeah we have this veins inside and once I'm done I'm gonna cure it for 60 seconds well it's I think it's 30 seconds for modern ones but I personally like to cure everything for 60 seconds just to be um, sure um, especially if I have a client I definitely cure for 60 seconds even if it's mentioned that you need 30 seconds just because sometimes you don't know how the client put the hand in the light and uh, it turns out that uh, it didn't cure properly for 30 seconds so yeah I always want to make sure this is the second nail I just um, showing you some of the drawing here because it's quite boring actually for it's the same thing but it's just the second nail and um, yeah the camera it doesn't focus very well that goldish um, um, I think when I put the top coat you can see it better here I don't I don't think that you can see it so properly the the leaves and how they look like but once I put the top coat you see I mean overall this set like I mentioned it's quite dark and my light it's I need to look for another light um just to make sure that you can see properly the details so bear with me with that so now we're doing the fun part yep we have a soap water here i make a little in a little uh, dish i had a water and some hand soap i have my ombre brush and we're gonna do a really nice very cool effect we're gonna take the nine uh, the cut eye nails and uh, we will put uh, no wipe top gel and then look at that oh my gosh it's so nice this cut eye it's really really nice actually so um then uh we're gonna put the foam on top and it's really cool effect i really like it uh, it's a texture nail so for those who doesn't like texture nails maybe they would it's not good for them but it's really cool effect so yeah you just put the foam on top here we are, bigger bubbles, smaller bubbles. It's up to you how you want to do it. If you want bigger, if you want smaller. And then you're going to cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds. So you do the same thing with the next nail. You put the top coat and I really like that. It's just uh, so fun. It's so nice. And then when you see the, uh, the end, the result, it's like, what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's so cool. Oh, uh, yeah, there we go. So we put again some bubbles, 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 bubbles. You can do all the nails like that. It's up to you how you want to do it. Okay, here we go. So this is it. I take it out of the lamp. I wipe out the excess of the foam. And this is what we have. It's really cool, isn't it? It's so nice. So we're going to do these two nails like that and then I'm going to put some uh, top coat on the blue nails because um, I wasn't sure if I like them not and um, yeah I think I like them shiny I like shiny I have to say if you stay if you stick with me on my channel I like shiny everything in my set when I do like sets 
I like to have a little bit of a shine. So at least if not, if it's my nails, oh my gosh, if I can have them all, I'll have them all shiny or sparkly. Okay, so yeah, I'm putting top coat here. And then the next nail is done as well. There we go. Lovely. Love it. I love it so much. It's so cool. Really nice. So these are the nails done right now. Um, I'm putting... You can't see here so well. Well, I'm, basically what I'm doing is on the shine, once it's cured, I'm putting some uh, top coat uh, um, drops to look like... Um, rain on top of the leaves um yeah you can't see it so well yeah so this is our last nail the blue nail so i've decided to just put uh, uh, some sparkle gemstones on top of it just because i felt that it's looking quite quite lonely like that just a blue color so i'm gonna mix and match uh, the white and the blue um gems this is my glue uh, I like this glue. It's just actually it's a, not really expensive. It's a cheap glue. I bought it from eBay. But I like it because it's with the brush. And it's easier for me to apply it. I have another one in a pot. Which is more like a gel. It's also not bad. But I do like this one. I think better. Because it's easier to apply with the, with the brush. And it's more liquidy. So, um, yeah, I start putting this. These are mixed crystals. Uh, I think it's called uh, light blue crystals. I don't remember where I got it from. They're not branded. They're just crystals. Um, and same with the white ones. Nice white um, crystals. Uh, one is, on one side is the white. And on the, uh, the other side is AB crystals. So, yeah. So I'm just trying, I'm going to do like a two, um, how are you going to explain that? Two swish lines on top and bottom. Um, like li little wavy lines, you're going to see what I mean. So one is starting from the top uh, um, left corner and the other one will start from like, as you can see, from the bottom, bottom, um, right corner yeah left and right yeah i think so <laughs> i need to confirm the 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 way and the, the sides just to be sure it's left and right anyway so yeah i'm putting blue and i'm mixing blue with white um they don't they don't have to be identical i don't uh, I'm not keen about that. Uh, it just could be uh, one has a little bit more blue, one has a little bit more white. It's just I'm starting with a bigger crystal and then uh, moving forward, I'm going uh, to a smaller ones. Yeah, this is the one. So this is how it looks like. I'm gonna. I didn't cure them yet, so I can uh, arrange them properly before I cure them in the light, and then. Like I said, um, I'm going to add some, um, like a little, it's not pixies, but it's just a nice mixture of bluish uh, caviar beads and uh, bigger pieces of caviar beads, I believe so, and some gems inside. So yeah, I'm going to put this around in between the, the crystals so it can just to fill up the space and plus I had some um, glue hanging around outside, um, on the side so I've decided I can put those uh, so just to use the glue as well because otherwise you know if you took coat it it wouldn't look so nice I believe so oh come on it's not focusing here yeah there we go so now I'm doing the same thing on the, I'm putting some in the front of the crystals and some on the side as well. This is quite time consuming, I have to admit it. This is speed up here, but it took me a proper good <laughs> amount of time just to fix them and um, to make sure that it's uh, everything is set properly 
so yeah the caviar beads could be they're time consuming like but they always that small detail when you put crystals that you know makes it next level it just looks finished complete if if you don't have i mean you can always leave it like that but with the caviar beads it just look more finished and i like that look it's just uh it looks like a jewelry for me uh when you have this uh written if you buy a ring or ear earrings you know with uh, uh some uh, stones on it you can see on the side the little uh, hooks that holding the 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 gem this is for me the caviar beads they just finish the look of the nail and i do like that so this is ready and i'm gonna put uh, a top coat just be aware do not put top coat on top of the gems because otherwise uh you're gonna take away from their spark so put top coat on a side and around the gems now in between i'm gonna take a, a small brush and i'm gonna put a, the top coat with the brush because i just didn't want it to go over it actually i did so you're gonna see how i before i cure it i just took a, a small no wipe uh, a small wipe and i wipe it from the crystal just to be sure that it's not on top of it and yeah you cure that for 60 seconds lovely and voila here we are this is my set i hope you really like this video and um don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you on the next part next one bye bye